I was an intelligence analyst for the 2nd Infantry Division for a year on the DMZ in Korea. Then I came to Fort Bragg and I was an intelligence analyst for a special operations unit. Well, I grew up in a small town called Bethune, South Carolina, and um, when I was in high school, probably around the 10th grade, I absolutely knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to do dental hygiene. My name is Delma Carvajal. I'm 23 years old and a third semester nursing student. I was born in Mexico and raised here in Florence. My mother was only able to achieve a third grade education level, and my father was only able to get to middle school. So they always told me that the best way to be successful in life was with a college degree. I wanted to use my GI Bill um, to get a good job, uh, to learn how to make things by hand, starting with raw material and making a piece that is precise down to one third of a human hair. Its thickness um, was really appealing. I receive funds from the FDTC Educational Foundation, and that program helped me a lot with school. Our boards are very, very expensive, and not being able to work, the scholarship really took a big load off of my chest. Thanks to the donors of the FDTC Educational Foundation Scholarships, we as students can achieve so much. I was never a student, um, never really cared about education during high school at all. Now that I'm here, I honestly do care because of everything riding on it. Um, my ultimate goal is to be financially stable with my wife, being able to contribute and take the load off of her. And I have a sense of pride because I've accomplished something that I thought that I wouldn't have been interested in, but it really captivated me and pulled me in. When I found out that I received scholarships, I was very relieved. Um, it, like I said, it took a huge burden off of my chest that I didn't have to go take out student loans or ask my parents for this or trying to think about how can I pay for this or that whenever we have tests coming up and boards coming up. I have a lot of stress on my plate already and I don't need that and the foundation really helped me with that. My mother and I cannot thank the Bruce and Lee Scholarship enough. I am so grateful. Thanks to them, I can now focus and study and be less anxious about possibly having to drop out of college due to financial issues. The Bruce and Lee Scholarship has provided me the opportunity to be a nursing student. I am very grateful, thank you from the bottom of my heart, for making my dreams come true to be a nurse and an integral part of society and the medical community. I hope to get on full time at Nucor, currently where I have my internship. It was kind of an end state into why I chose what I chose, the program because there's an internship for machine tool students. Um, worked really hard, and um, I'm really looking to get on full-time there. So my biggest hope would be just to be successful. To, and when I say be successful, I don't mean just have X amount of dollars or anything. I mean as far as just a personal relationship with someone. Like, if I can make anyone smile, I feel like my calling is to help people. Even, you know, with me, it's teeth because I love to smile. But if it's anything I can help you with, like even just a hello or a smile, you know, that's my biggest hope for the future. Um, also, I have a wife and a house, and it's allowed me to contribute and not feel like a dead weight um, being in school, and uh, it really helps keep everything as it should be. If somebody thinks that they might be interested in it, I would challenge them to come down and talk to the instructors because I thoroughly enjoyed both of my instructors for Machine Tool and I know that they would do anything to help us out. And I can't thank the foundation enough for allowing and Nucor allowing me to be a part of it.